Lifestyle lovers, welcome back to SE Lifestyle. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called SE Lifestyle, and it is all about creating a good lifestyle. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so this is going to be a shot with me. If you have been watching the previous vlogs, then you know that I went on a trip to New Orleans. I'm still I'm still in New Orleans, but this is going to be a shopping day. So me and my good girlfriend, we're just gonna explore the city on our last day here, do some shopping. Currently we're at, we're on Canal Street. I think this is the Lakeside Shopping Mall. They have a Saks, they have a Louis Vuitton, um, they have a Zara. So this is gonna be a shopping day. We'll probably have some lunch and then catch a flight back home. I'm going back to Jacksonville and she's going back to Dallas, but I wanna go ahead and start the vlog and we're probably just gonna be shopping in this vlog. This is my favorite part of the trip, is shopping. So let's go. Okay. Yeah, because I think I looked at these before, but they didn't have them in the Jacksonville store. The cream these Tory Birch, y'all. What colors these come in? Um, so the navy cream and the green. So right here, these come in. Oh, I they like the green. green. Yeah, those are very nice. What color is this? And this, this is the brown. The I don't need no more brown and black sunglasses. I need some. And then this is the green. It's like two green on. Those cold, too. <laughs> Yeah, I probably would get more wear out of the blue than anything. Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, girl, I love these. Okay. <laughs> I might get them. Let me. I'm gonna let me come back. Okay. Girl, I can't be messing with you. I'm gonna go get on my flight. I'm going to the airport. <laughs> um, she going to Dallas. I'm going back to Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. Well, she's from Jacksonville, but she live in Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> well, we both from Jacksonville. I want these right now. Mm. 
I want I these. Like these or even these. I really love those. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about maybe like getting like a I really love those. a pink blazer. So I probably get my way out of these. Yeah, I really yeah. love those. I like these too. Oh, I don't yeah. like these. Mm -hmm. I don't like the char grill oysters without the cheese because I like my oysters steamed and uh, sauteed crab balls. We were supposed to go to Drago's. I wish we would have went to Drago's. So we'll have to catch Drago's on the next trip. Time to go home. We went to Zara's. That mall that we were in earlier did not have Zars in there, so we was in the wrong mall. We had to end up catching an Uber a little bit. Um, well, when we mow in the town, I don't know, but we had to end up catching an Uber to the mall. So my flight has been delayed as well. I'm kind of ready to go home now. I ain't home sick, but I just, I don't lost a lot of stuff since I've been here, like been leaving stuff. And now that gives me like anxiety. Like now I got anxiety. Like, um, so. but yeah. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so almost time to go home. But everything good. You think you gonna be full off of that? Well, I don't got that many now. Um, 
I wish they just steamed them. <laughs> we used to have an oyster bar in Jacksonville where they would just shuck the oyster, steam them, and just like lay them. You remember CJ's? Like that was like, oh, I miss CJ's. So every time that I see CJ's playing, oh, girl, I used to love CJ's. They'll just shuck the oysters and, and, and just put them up there and you just eat them. But it's culture here. They cook their Oh, I know. Yeah, they char, char grill their oysters. But I prefer them steamed. But those good though. Those kind of taste like what you would go when you go to Whispers or something like that. You know how they put all their little stuff on that? Now you're her machine. She'll make your martini, okay? Okay. Excuse me, love. Can you bring me some of the butter for the... Yeah. I guess you're supposed to stir it up and make it on. Oh, okay. I'm watching the rise, and I wouldn't say I'm shocked cause I'm hardly surprised This one's for the ride, this one's for who knew I'd make it, just needed some time This one's for my wife, could've left a thousand times, just so by my side This one's for the grind, I knew it would happen, just had the strength in my mind To the videos, they thought I was a black guy, mm, that's hard to get over I'm falling in this world, but I'm fully devoted I don't take it for granted that the door's been open I knew I was different, I knew I was chosen A breadwinner, but I'm soft-spoken Authentic like a 5950 and there's no cap Let's have a toast to that Let's have a toast for the real ones Let's have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones Let's have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones Have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones Egyptian. 500 for the shoes, come dirty but the European Less is more and less is the bank Up the score, I pull up from Trey From the tray, I'm born like Trey Do what I can, I do what you can The Saints players pay for Saints players have paid for all of them have One bedroom apartments They oh, do what wow. they want to do they Wow, here and Child, they probably have drug problems You know they do, Eric We in the Uber, y'all, so the lady just um, <laughs> she just cleaned the windshield wiper. Val gave her five dollars. <laughs> Uber driver said ain't giving her nothing. <laughs> she said the Saints players paid for them to have one bedroom apartments. The the homeless people. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's yeah, awesome that though. That is so awesome. That is that is you awesome. You should have told me, girl, because I could have really gave it to my cat. I yeah. think I got a five. Somebody get an Oliver. Yeah. I think I I may have a five, but. Girl, when we be in Jacksonville, I don't even look that way, baby. I look straight ahead. I normally, if I got food, I get it. I don't. I just. Mm -mm. I got nothing to think. I don't either. <coughs> Cause y'all know, try people be. I think somebody. I think um, Nisa say she had gave the people something. Something. She bought them something. Did something, baby. They were trying to sell what she bought them, girl. <laughs> Uh-uh. Like you just, you know, you don't know who really need it and who don't. don't so it, yeah. so I ain't giving you nothing. I ain't got nothing. I ain't giving it to you. That's true. They trying to sell what she don't bought. You know what I'm saying? Because girl and, 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 and one of the ladies in my leadership meeting, she said, you know, she see the same lady all the time. She was like, she went and bought her a rotisserie chicken. Girl, she said she took it and throwed it at her and, and cussed her out. No, she did. Yeah, she did. She told me, here I am thinking that I'm doing, you know, something nice. Girl, she said she took the chicken, the rotisserie chicken and throwed it in the girl, street. No, man. 
And she, and she said, if you ever come around me again, she's talking about, I'll kill you. <laughs> And so, you know, in Dallas, well, the man had set it up, and then Dallas, the lady had helped the homeless man, got her to roll down her window because her husband knew that that was her routine. She would give to him. Uh -huh. And the girl, the homeless man, ended up killing her when she rolled down the window, but come to find out the, the husband had set it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's yeah, you just, you can't. All right, lifestyle lovers, we're headed to the airport. But been shopping at Zara, honey. I got two little outfits to show y'all. Bad about everything in the store. <laughs> Grawler. But yeah, we're headed to the airports because I need to get back home. But we got plenty of stuff planned. Got some artwork coming for the kitchen. Countertops. Hopefully that'll be done this week. Hopefully and prayfully. It'll be done because she gonna run us crazy if they don't. Girl, baby, I need my counters. I need my quartz. I need my quartz. So, but I'm on their time now. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm on their time now for um, New In Orleans. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Camp Street. New Orleans treated us so well. Food was so good. So good. That was the best thing, the food. That's why I told y'all I came to eat. Yes, that was the but. But New Orleans have good food anyway. I've, I've been here a few times and, you know, but it was just good just to not be here for essence and just mm -hmm. to be able to you know, just enjoy the culture. Jam Nola, that was Jam Nola was fun. Yeah, that was a good experience as well. So, um, we enjoy New Orleans, but it's time to go home, baby. Bye, tell the lifestyle lovers bye. Bye, y'all. See y'all next time. <laughs> What's the next trip? Um, oh, what? oh, for Messiah's birthday, we got to oh, figure okay. out if I'm coming down. He uh, sending for y'all. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do something with the kids for my grandson's birthday. He'll be he'll be six. All right, peace. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So as you can see, I am back home like I never left. I've actually been back home for probably about a week now. So today is Saturday. I just kind of got up, made myself breakfast, made myself a smoothie. And um, cleaned up my room. I had such a good time in New Orleans. I'm quite sure you guys seen the um, seen the vlogs. If you have not seen the New Orleans vlog, there's actually two. Make sure you check them out. We had such a good time. I will link them in the description box. But so I'm back home. I pretty much went straight back to work on Monday. If you guys hear something that's thunder, it's a rainy day. I went straight back to work on Monday, worked a full week. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I got from Zara. I only purchased two things. So I was actually steaming one of the outfits because my iron <laughs> went out this week. So I've had this iron, I don't know how long, but I've had it for years. I am one of those people that I will use appliances till they break. I will not buy a new appliance till they break. My washer and dryer I have had before Mookie was born. And Mookie is about to be 14. I just always buy the warranty and stuff on it. Um, I know some people do cars like that. They'll drive cars till they break down. But I had to kind of pull out my steamer. So I was steaming the outfit. I'm going to try that on. For, <coughs> I'm going to try that on for you guys i didn't i took a lot of clothes in the dressing room at zara's but nothing fit i'm probably between a six and an eight and some of the mediums i couldn't even get past my ass um but my girlfriend she shops at zara all the time she says sometimes their si sizing can be kind of wonky um so i only came home with like two outfits a jumper and then like a two-piece like silk silky type satin set one of the coordinates that's kind of been trending um that's kind of been trending this summer with the different colors but i got it in black so i'm gonna try that on for you guys um i think that is it pretty much i want to show you guys this tote bag let me sit this down this tote bag came yesterday this is what I bought my daughter for her birthday. 
I bought this bag for her, for her and I paid a bill. She wanted a bill paid. So I paid a bill and I bought this Marc Jacobs tote. Um, but it's kind of cute. I told her mama might need one of these. Let me bring it down so you guys can see it. I know that these totes had been kind of trending. Um, you know, but this is cute. I was like, I might want me one of these. So I had unboxed it and I was showing her on FaceTime. So she has to come get her gift for her birthday. Um, but yeah, I like this. This is, I think, I think this is the Traveler's Tote. Um, they have one that's smaller, but this is, this is a nice size. This is the one that she sent me, I think. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> So yeah, Lifestyle Lovers, I'm going to go ahead and try the first outfit on that I got from Zara so you can kind of see how it looks and then we'll close out the vlog. Okay, Lifestyle Lovers, so I did a little mini try on haul. I told you guys that I only purchased two outfits from Zara. I tried on two outfits and look at my bed. <laughs> Oh my God, look at this. I just cleaned up my room this morning. So all of this stuff I have to clean back up. I kind of pulled out some accessories just to accessorize some of the outfits. And it kind of went from there. So I'm just going to show you guys what I bought. I only bought three things. I spent $165 at Zara when I was in Louisiana. Um, So I bought two coordinates which is like let me show you so i bought these pants and you can wear this in so many different ways but this is a medium i'm gonna tell you i tried on pants that were a medium where they had the button at the front they were too tight y'all so these has the elastic waistband and it has the drawstring so i was able to kind of get in this medium but it has like I don't know what you call that. I know it's not pinstripe, but it has like that line down the front of the pants. So these were $45.90. And you can wear these so many different ways. The first look was I pretty much paired it with this kind of lemon lime body contour top, top from Express. And the second piece that I got from Zara is the shirt pretty much kind of like the same type of material I think the blacks are a little different but you can't really tell um so this is an, a size small this was $35.90 if you guys can see that so I pretty much paired the first look with this lemon lime top so this is something that I could actually wear on a Saturday I could actually wear this into the office. Real nice, cute, comfortable look. It actually reminds me of some pajamas when you kind of button up and wear it as a button up. So I probably wouldn't wear it button up because it actually just looks like some satin pajamas. So either I wear, wear it with a, a colorful top and open it up. I can actually, if I wanted to, you know, get sexy, you can tie it up as I have styled it. I pretty much tied it up. And I can actually wear it that way. Take the back of the shirt and kind of tuck it under your bra. You can wear it that way to do like, you know, like the crop top look and have a little, you know, a little cleavage showing. If I wanted to, you know, like get a little sexy with it. And you also can wear them as separate. So for a different look, I actually paired the top with these joggers from Express that I had in my closet. It's a similar material, same black same little you know the little stripe down the pants and I've never worn these still have the tag on them I think I brought them on sale they were $70 but I, I know I didn't pay $70 for them but I pretty much paired my top from Zara with these joggers from Express and it looks good I can tie it up wear a little sexy look with it so these two pieces that I got from Zara, I can wear them together or I can wear them separately. So, you know, that was a great buy. And then 
I love jumpsuits, y'all. I don't know if y'all know that about me, but I love jumpsuits. So when I tried this jumpsuit on, I knew it was going home with me because it looked so good when I tried it on in the store. So this is actually the third item that I got from Zara. The jumpsuit was $69.90. So this particular jumpsuit, it ran big. Is it, yeah, is it run small or run big? No, I guess it ran big. If I got it in a small, does that mean it ran big? I think it ran big, yeah. So I was able to get this in a small, the small fit. This is something that, that I could actually wear into the office or I could turn into a night outfit. So if I wear it into the office, I would pair it. It came with a belt. And that's the first look I showed you guys. I tried it on with the belt that it came with. So if, if I would wear it into the office as a work outfit, I would probably pair it with the belt that it came with. And just add a blazer with it just to kind of dress it up, make it look professional. But most likely, I will not wear this in the office. Not for the first time anyway. I think I'm going to um, pair it. I paired it with a couple of different belts. So this is how it looked with my wide um, Valentino belt. I paired it with that. I can wear it with a wide Valentino belt. I also paired it with my small Valentino belt. It looked, I like it better with the thicker belt. But it also looks good with a small belt. And I paired it with my Gucci belt as well. That's why my bed looks like that. But it looks really, really good with, I think, like a medium-sized belt, in my opinion. I can do the thick Valentino belt. I can even do the smaller Valentino belt. But I think it looks good, like, with a medium-sized belt. So I paired it with the Gucci belt. And, you know, like my Gucci Soho bag. I could wear this jumpsuit so many different ways so this was coming home with me i absolutely love it i would love to have it in black but the thing about the jumpsuit is it's wide legs so i probably won't be able to wear it with heels because i did try it on with a pair of heels and it made the jumpsuit look a little high water when i did it with heels so i probably have to do a very low heel or either the slides kind of like how i paired it with the valentino slides but as I stated, this jumpsuit was $69.90. So I ended up spending $165 in Zara. I'm glad I came home with these. Um, so yeah, let me see. What else? So yeah, lifestyle lovers, I think that is pretty much it for this video. I have a lot going on this week. My countertops are paid for. I'm so excited. So I'm just waiting for them to put me on the schedule. I also have another kitchen update coming. That's going to be a separate video. It's actually um, a collaboration that I think you guys are going to absolutely love and probably maybe want to incorporate in your kitchen. But I have that coming up. I think my contractor is coming. I want to say he's coming this week. I may have to adjust my work schedule at work because I want to say he's coming this week to install that so you guys will get to see that. I have a large piece of artwork that is coming for the kitchen this week. I got a lot going on y'all. I'm getting back to my home stuff so if you are not subscribed make sure you subscribe but um, I'm glad to be back home. I enjoyed my time in New Orleans but it's kind of time to get back to business. Um, so I hope you have a great week, a great weekend whenever you're watching this. I think I'm going to take these braids out too, Lifestyle Lovers, this tomorrow. I think I'm going to start tonight and maybe finish tomorrow. I probably should have took them out before I went to New Orleans, but I did not want to add anything else to my to-do list. But they're coming out. That's kind of why I got this, this, um, what is this, this headband to kind of hide my edges a little bit because they look a hot ass mess. And so just ignore the headband in the trial hall because they kind of messed up the look of the outfits. But it is what it is right now. But have a great week, Lifestyle Lovers. A great weekend whenever you're watching this again. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.